evening, whenever you're watching this. So here's today's lesson. Again, we're going to be working uh, on area. And so uh, the first uh, sums here are your starter questions. Sorry, one second. The first sums here are your starter questions. So here we have three questions. I'm going to show you how to do the first one, and then I'd like you to pause the video and try and do the other ones. You might, you will need a calculator actually for this. So um, you might need to exit out uh, of the uh, video to use the calculator on your phone. So make sure you write down the sums before you do that. So it's asking us to find the area of each square. Now in the last video, I talked about the area being everything inside of a shape, okay? So the, what I'm coloring in now, that's the area, okay? And we find the area by multiplying. We find the area by multiplying the two sides, okay? The width and the length. Now, you might be saying, sir, how do you know that that's seven meters? Well, all of these shapes are squares and squares have equal sides. So if this is seven meters across, it must be seven meters tall because it is a square. So the first one, all we do is we multiply seven by seven, and that gives us 49 meters squared. So I'd like you to pause the video now and try and do the other two. Um, they're both squares as well. And then unpause the video and check your answers once you have done them. Right. Question number two. So it's going to be 15 centimetres, multi oh, 15 centimetres multiplied by 15 centimetres. So what we do is we go to our calculators and we type in 15 multiplied by 15 equals, and we get 225 centimetres squared. Now be careful of what type of measurement it is. This one is centimetres. The last question was metres, okay? And the next question is millimeters, mm, millimeters. So that's our answer here. Uh, let me just write it out a bit nicer. 15 multiplied by 15 equals 225. Okay, our third starter question. Uh, it's going to be 22 millimeters multiplied by 22 millimeters because it's a square. All right, so it's 22 multiplied by 22. So you take your calculator and type in 22, multiply by 22, and that should give you 484 millimeters squared. Okay, again, that is the area, the amount of space inside of this shape. Okay, I'm just coloring it in to show you. This is what we are calculating, the amount of space inside of this shape so the bigger the shape the bigger uh, the area usually okay so that's our starter questions done now on to today's topic so i have two questions here i'm going to show you how to do the first question and then i'm going to get you to do the second question okay so this is question one and this is question two so these sums are a little bit different so it says the area of the square shown is 25 meters squared. So they have told us that the area is 25 meters squared. Okay. But they haven't told us what the width is and what the length is. We don't know what that is, but they want us to figure it out that's the first question find the length of its side okay so they want us to figure out so what number multiplied by another number gives us 25 now this is a square isn't it just looking at it you can tell it's a square this side here this uh, with the question mark this side is equal to this side they're the same length okay which means that this side is also the same length and this side too is also the same length. So what two numbers, what two numbers when they're multiplied together give us 25 and the two numbers must be uh, the same? Maybe you can do this in your head. If you have your times tables, 
you uh, might be able to look for 25 on it and see what two numbers multiplied together give us 25. The what two same numbers. So if you don't have your times tables and you want to learn a different way of doing it, what you can do is you can do something called the square root. Now this only works for squares, okay? The square root of 25. So if you have your calculator, have a look for this sign on your calculator. And then your calculator might be different from my calculator, but sometimes you press this button, you press this square root button, you press that, and then you put in 25, and then you press equals, and it should equal to five. And what that means is five, five multiplied by five is 25, isn't it? If you were to put into the calculator the square root of nine, you would get three. If you were to put into the calculator the square root of 16, you would get four. Okay, the square root is the opposite of squared. It's the opposite of something squared. So that's question one done. We figured out that it was five. So this was five meters, five meters, five meters, five meters. Now question two, it wants us to find the perimeter of the square. So that means the outside, the measurement, the how much uh, the outside uh, is. So that's five plus five plus five plus five. So it's 20. And that's 20 meters. Okay. Now that we've done this question, I want you to do this question here. Okay. I want you to do question one, question two, question three. Now you need either times tables or you need to have a calculator, or you need to be good at your times tables in your head, okay? So uh, this, these three questions are the same as the first question here at the top. You don't have to find the perimeter of these. You, don't, you only have to figure out how long each side is. Now these are all squares. So how long is each side, okay? And you do that using the same technique that we used above. So pause the video now. If you're really stuck, you could watch me do the first one and then pause the video. But pause the video now if you wanna have a go and try and do those three questions. Okay, hopefully you've had a go. So uh, what I do is I use my calculator and I put in square root of 81 so on my calculator, I press the square root button and then I press 81, and the answer is nine. Because nine multiplied by nine, nine multiplied by nine is 81. So that must be nine. And the next one is the square root of 144. So you just type into your calculator, square root 144, and that gives you 12. So each side must be 12, and I can't forget to write centimeters. I have to write the measurement. So each side must be 12 centimeters. Now this one over here, it's a bigger number, and we usually, we need calculators for bigger numbers. So square root of 400 equals, and you just put that into your calculator, it equals 20. So each side must be 20 meters long. And I say meters because it's M. Over here it was centimeters, and this one was also centimeters. And that is how you find out the, how, um, the length of a square if we already know its area. So let's have a look at the next sums. Now, this is a little bit different, okay? Find the length or width of each of these rectangles. Sorry. Find the length or width of each of these rectangles. Okay, rectangles are different. With a rectangle, and I'm gonna use a color for this, when we're dealing with a rectangle, this side, which I'm coloring in yellow, 
and this side are equal in length. Okay, so two of the sides are equal in length. And then the other end is equal to the opposite end. Okay, so this top and this bottom bit, both of these are 12 centimeters, but we don't know what, how wide, we don't know how wide this side is and this side, or sorry, how long this side and this side are. Now, we know that if we want to figure out the area, if we want to figure out the area of a shape, we multiply the width by the length. Okay, so we're multiplying 12. Let me just get rid of this 12. I want to do it in black. So we are multiplying 12 by a number that we don't know. And the answer would be 96. 96. So what number multiplied by 12 gives us 96? Now, you may be able to do that in your head. But if you're not sure, you can use your calculator. So what number multiplied by 12 gives you 96? If you wanted to do this in your calculator, in your calculator, you would type in 96 divided by 12. 96 divided by 12. So you just type in 96 divided by 12, and that will give you 8. So our answer is 8. So our answer is eight centimeters. So now that I've showed you how to do that, I want you to try and do the next two questions, okay? And then uh, I will go through them in a moment. Now, remember, we are not using the square root here. We're not using this square root, okay? This square root sign is only for squares. These are rectangles. All right, so have a go now, see how you get on. Okay, now hopefully you did the same as I did before. It's 12 multiplied by a number we don't know equals 240 meters squared. All right, so what number multiplied by 12 gives us 240? Well, if you have a calculator, you can put 240 divided by 12 do that now 240 divided by 12 gives us 20 so this side must be 20 this side here must be 20 because if we multiply 12 by 20 we get 240 so our answer is 20 now the next one over here 18 multiplied by a number we don't know gives us 216 now, what number multiplied by 18 gives us 216? Well, if you want to use your calculator, you write 216 divided by, and you write 18. So 216 divided by 18. And when you put that into your calculator, you will get 12. So this here must be 12 millimeters. So our answer is 12 millimeters and that is the sums for today so i want you to make sure that you take a picture of the work you did today and send it to me through google classroom okay don't forget to do that that's so i can see how you're getting on uh, if you made a mistake leave it in there because i want to see if people are making mistakes i want to see why they're making mistakes so i can try and help them uh, not make mistakes. So it's really important that I see if you made mistakes because then that helps me know what you're thinking because it's really hard uh, when I'm sitting in my house and you're sitting in your house. It's easier in school because I can see when you're making mistakes. Anyway, have a great day and I'll talk to you next week.